Hi, welcome to my watercolour YouTube channel. I'm Karen Rice. I'm just going to be playing around with some brush -o, um paints or medium and just experimenting with that and explaining how the best way to use it as well. And I can hear you asking, what is brush -o? Well, brush -o is a really fantastic, one of a kind painting medium, but it's a highly pigmented watercolour ink it comes in a powdered crystallized form and you can you know you can use it wet in wet and wet on dry and it just creates the most amazing backgrounds of watercolour painting but I thought I'd just sort of explain how I use it in my painting and hopefully it'll inspire you to use it as well it's a really nice medium that you can play around with and create some amazing background effects so it's pretty much what I'm going to do in this tutorial and then I'm going to do a little sort of quickie card at the end and it's a great way of creating little cards and I actually um, did a workshop a number of years ago now um, with my students where we did card making and it was using brush -o, and I really enjoyed it so I hope you're going to enjoy this tutorial and if you do like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and you'll get updates of my latest videos if you have any questions or comments please put them in the comment section below and I would love to hear from you. So shall we get started? For a full list of all the materials I'm using check out the description below. This is the little pot the brush -o comes in and I'm just taking off the tag here now to remove it and just removing the lid and here it is all the crystallized powder here and uh, I'm going to wet, I'm going to show you the different ways of using it. this, it's just watercolour paper, I'm wetting it with my large flat brush and I'm using a dry old brush to get a little bit on the end of it and then just tapping and dusting it onto the wet surface and you can see it all sort of disperses and it it just creates the most amazing effects. This colour is moss green and it has sort of browns and greens and yellows. And that's what I love about brush. You get all these different colours in just one colour. So that was one way of using the brush. The other way is, is to pierce the lid. And I'm using an old compass here. And I'm just piercing the lid. Um, with any sort of sharp point there just to create a really small hole because some of the colours really are so strong and you just want, don't want to release too much. So I'm just applying a little bit more water now to my watercolour paper and this time I'm adding a little bit of ultramarine with a tiny touch of burnt sienna and now I'm applying the brush -o on top of that just to show you what it's like on top of watercolour paint and it creates a lovely effect. This is a really nice way of actually sort of plugging this hole. I'm using drawing board pins here and they come in different colours. So I've actually used a green pin for the olive green. It just shows me that that's a green one then. I'm just applying a little bit of that olive green now on top of the moss green just to show the different sort of colours. Look at that moss green. Look at all those glorious colours. They're amazing. It looks like fireworks almost, the moss green. It's like a dark sort of burnt umber with some violet in there it's absolutely gorgeous now I'm actually now dusting this from the pot which I prefer the pin through the hole it's less messy and I'm just dusting this onto the dry surface now not the wet surface the dry surface. and I'm using my spritzer bottle just to spray the um, crystals there and this actually this color is called black and it's got them again the most amazing sort of color combinations in there it creates a lot of lovely texture and this actually would be quite nice on top of watercolor and a dry painting to create some lovely textures so I'm going to use some wax resist sticks this is by brush show but you can just use white wax candle or white 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 wax crayons anything like that it reacts as a resist to a wet medium transparent medium like watercolor so I'm using quite rough paper it works better on cold pressed paper or hot pressed but I'm just drawing in now rubbing quite hard and firmly onto the watercolor paper it's always a good idea to have a practice of this as well because you can't really see what you're doing here you could do a fine pencil drawing but then your pencil is trapped underneath the wax the only way of getting it off is brown paper and an iron and I just don't do that I just leave the wax on it doesn't do the paper any harm whatsoever 
So I thought I'd dust a little bit of turquoise now onto the paper. This is a very strong staining colour and it can get onto your hands. But Chris from the Patreon membership has a very good tip and it's to use hand sanitizer. And Chris actually came across this by accident and uh, used that and it actually helped to remove the brush show. So there's a good little tip there. Thank you, Chris. What I'm doing is I'm spritzing the turquoise, which is a gorgeous colour. And you can see the wax resist coming through there. So I'm just going to put a little bit of black on now, sort of quite a lot, just to get that wax resist showing up. So you can see how it's resisting even the brush show there, sort of coming through. So it almost looks like trees or something like that. It can create some lovely special effects. Now brush show are a little bit messy, so you don't want it anywhere near that you can sort of contaminate stuff. And those tiny little dust particles do get in places so just kind of you know be be wary of that so I'm actually wetting the paper now again with just like a light green color and I'm going to spritz or sprinkle on rather some brush -o, a little bit of I believe this is some turquoise and just letting that look at that the way it moves it's kind of got a, its own sort of motion the way it moves there it's just gorgeous I just love it and it could actually almost be sort of like you know animal fur or something like that if you use some different colors um it can be you can really sort of think about lots of creative effects and i would love to hear your sort of suggestions about what it could do in the comment section below i'm trying out a little bit of salt here to see if the salt reacts with the brush show as well because obviously turquoise is quite a strong staining color so we'll, we'll keep an eye on that so I'm using the wax resist again and I'm just drawing the outline of a flower just for a bit of fun, just to show you um, the brush at work again. I'm using my large flat brush and I'm just wetting the surface of that there and I'm going to use some of the brush show again. This time I'm sprinkling on a little bit of the moss green because I thought I'd give that a little bit more and you can see little orangey bits coming out there and I'm actually now applying a little bit of the turquoise as well to mix those colors wet in wet there and oh it's got some delicious effects there. I'm actually spritzing it as well to get them dissolve and moving and mixing together so now I'm actually going to mix them physically with my brush. So I've actually put down a little bit of the black here and it's such a beautiful colour, isn't it? It's nowhere near how black is, a beautiful colour. And now I'm using some of the turquoise as well, very useful sort of bright colour. And I'm actually sprinkling some salt on as well just to test that out and see how that works. I'm using a little bit of rose red here as well and trying that out and just mixing it. I'm mixing it on the paper, obviously you could mix it in your pans as well, but it's just to show you what it's like just to use them like watercolors really. And um, it's actually caught, funnily enough here, I'm using my size six brush by the way, but um, it's actually caught a little bit of the blue and it just shows though there was a little tiny bit of blue that has, has, had escaped. So that's what I was saying earlier, you just got to be a little bit careful with, with your brush show because little dusty bits can escape here and there. This is an example of where I've used brush show in the background and this is um, a tutorial that I'm working on for the Patreon membership. And as you can see, I've used some of that lovely moss green brush show in the background there and it's really created some wonderful textures if you're interested in the patreon membership just click the link in the top right hand corner and it will give you more details so this is a card I actually did with brush over here and look at all those beautiful luminous colors they look amazing so I, I feel really inspired to show you a little brush show little greeting card so I've just got a little bit of watercolour paper here, a little square, and I'm actually using my framing tape to put around the edge so I get a nice white border. It's protected. I'm just, I mean, this is just from my imagination. It's just a bit of fun. I am just drew a little horizon and some grasses with my HB pencil onto my watercolour paper. I'm using the wax resist to kind of sort of put little round circles like little wild flowers in the distance and to create some lighter grasses. And I thought I'd put the sun in as well so I'm actually really pressing hard to do a circle in the sky so it looks like the sun and now I'm using the method of using it straight from the pot with the dry brush 
and sort of sprinkling it onto the wet surface of the watercolour paper and now I'm using the pot with a little hole pierce to actually sort of tap in the brush show with some red and some yellows and I'm spritzing now with my little spritzer bottle just to get everything dissolving and mixing together and I'm actually using the brush to sort of mix the colors as well so I'm using all of the things I showed you earlier and now I'm actually using the pot to dust the um, brush show on the dry paper this time using a little bit of a violet color and the moss green as well and just spritzing away and you can see how the wax resist has worked I'm using my twig of course and it's just so much fun it just it's so creative you can be very expressive and you can use the back of a watercolor painting you saw I mopped up a little bit there I'm putting on a little bit more of the lemon with the uh, the very dry brush there just to create a little bit of color in the foreground there and I finished off by removing my framing tape and there's a lovely white border and of course I'm going to give my painting a title abstract landscape give it a date and sign it and I've used a ready-made greeting card there blank card and I stuck my painting on with some Pritt stick but you could use watercolor paper folded or some thick card I really hope you enjoyed that tutorial and it really kind of demonstrated what brush show can do and actually how inspiring it is and it really does give a little bit of oomph <laughs> to backgrounds which I love and this is the um, just to show you this is all the textures here as well and they really do they're quite luminous aren't they really really wonderful sort of textures whether you're using them wet on wet or or actually putting them on first and then spritzing them or even just mixing them for colors they're just amazing so you'll probably be seeing that a little bit more in my tutorials and here is the little card as well and it's just so nice to sort of be able to do something like this just on an ordinary little piece of watercolor paper you could or you can just use watercolor paper and fold it up and make your own cards as well so it's really good fun to do so I'll probably be doing a few more of these um, but as I say, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more tutorials like this. Thanks again for watching. Happy painting. Bye for now.